life hacks. My social media feed is full of them. And I love seeing how people come up with millions of ideas for making my life easier. Would I like to peel a banana at least 10 seconds faster? Sure. Would I like to cook an entire turkey dinner using only a microwave? Maybe I'll pass on that one. Whether good or bad, life hack videos are addicting to watch, right? But here's the thing. There's also a life hack that's so extremely important, if I miss out on it, I'm basically done. The writer of Psalm 127 repeats the phrase over and over, in vain, meaning useless. He argues that God is the one who decides what happens in our lives. And if we try to go about things on our own without God, it's not going to make a difference. Unless the Lord builds the house, the builders labor in vain. We can't build our house on our own? What if we brush our teeth without God? Will the tartar still come off? I tend to draw a line through my life. There are things I need God for, like to heal me when I'm sick. And then there's the rest, the stuff I get done on my own. I set my alarm, I hit the snooze button, I drive my car. The psalmist invites me to erase that line. Everything we do, we're able to do because God allows us to do it. And every moment, there's a chance to allow God to lead us, if we could only remember. I run my life to accomplish certain goals, and I think I know the way to do it. That's why I set an alarm. Yet, I don't truly know what will work, or even how my day will go. The most important thing I can do as a follower of Jesus is to connect with him each day and ask his spirit to take the lead in my life. If God is directing a moment of my life, that moment cannot go wrong, even if it goes the opposite of what I've hoped. Here's the Psalms life hack challenge. Whatever you're doing, no matter how important or unimportant, talk to God while you're doing it. Allow him into the process, or simply acknowledge that he's the one truly in control. Resist the temptation to simply go about your day without him. Unless God's in control of our lives, we're going to come up empty every time.